To solve this question, let's first start by substituting in our known variables b and c and simplifying this expression down as far as we can get it. So let's make those substitutions. We have a cubed plus a divided by a being added to c plus b, which would be negative 1 plus 5, times b minus c, which would be 5 minus negative 1, be very careful with your signs there, minus a squared. Let's start by simplifying this portion first. So we will have a negative 1 plus 5 would give us a positive 4 times 5 minus a negative. Subtracting the negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So this is really 5 plus 1, which would give us 6. So we have 4 times 6, which is 24. Minus a squared plus... And to simplify this fraction over here, it can be helpful to split this into two separate fractions. We have a cubed divided by a plus a divided by a. a divided by a, anything divided by itself, would just give us the number 1. And then this fraction over here, anytime we have two numbers with like bases that have exponents and we are dividing those two numbers, we will subtract their exponents. This one has a little invisible 1 exponent, so 3 a to the 3 minus 1 would give us a squared. So this entire fraction simplified down is a squared plus 1. So now in a brand new color, I'll go write all of this down here. We have a squared plus 1 plus 24 minus a squared. And now the final step here is going to be combining our like terms. So we have 1 plus 24 will give us 25. And then a squared minus a squared is just going to give us zero. These are going to cancel out, leaving us with just the number 25, making answer choice A our correct answer.